All right, so that gives us this 0.1 molar. Okay, and now we're uh, pretty much done. Or right, well, now we have to figure out the pH. Do um, you guys remember what pH stands for? Um, What's the mathematical formula that pH stands for? How do we calculate the um, pH? Negative log of H2O plus. That's right. H here stands for uh, H3O plus. Sometimes people would write that like this. Whoops. <clears throat> We've seen how sometimes people abbreviate H3O plus as just H plus. So you might see it written either way. That's where the that H comes in pH. But we'll stick with this approach, which is more accurate. So here we need to find the negative log. And what number should I plug in? Remember that H3O plus is called hydronium. So what should I plug in for the hydronium concentration? 0.1. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. We just got it from the table. All right. Uh, this is a log you should be able to do without a calculator, but you guys get to use a calculator on the test, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so if you need to, you can use your calculator to find out what this log is going to be. Is it just one? Is that the log, or the, are, you, are you taking the negative log yet? Or? Yeah, I'm taking the negative log, it's one. Yeah. The reason you should be able to do this without a calculator is that point 0.1 is just 10 to the negative first power, and logarithms are just the exponents on the power of 10. So this should be negative, negative 1, which is 1. So if something's a power of 10, we can take the log without a calculator. But it's always good to check with your calculator. All right, so the log of 0.1 is negative 1. So the negative of that log is positive 1. So we end up with a pH of 1. So um, that was the answer to my question. This y-intercept should be at a pH of 1. OK. So. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the handout. Um, which of the cases in the handout that we just learned how to do? Um, strong acid. Yeah, the second row. Okay, so um, what you should do now is like you should label this page of your notes. We just went through this, and then you should, on the handout, say that the demonstration of how to do a strong acid is on page such and such in my notes. So if you forget, you can go back and take another look at it. So this is how we deal with a strong acid by itself. Okay. Um, so one thing we have to be careful here of is you have to ask, do, is the reaction going to completion or to equilibrium? We don't always use Ka to solve these types of problems. Okay. All right. Now, actually, um, it looks like we should review some basic cases for acids and bases before we continue with the titrations. Um, it looks like we need to get uh, a better uh, handle for these, uh, these basic cases. So let's take a step back and think about some of these basic cases. 